Hello, this is Dr. Drew Hall with Upper Cervical Healthcare of Los Angeles and Carson. And today, uh, what I want to talk about is multiple sclerosis. Almost everybody has heard of MS or multiple sclerosis, and the reason most people have heard about it is you don't want it. Now, if you have been diagnosed with it and you have been dealing with it, you know uh, how trying the condition is, and you've probably also found that mainstream medicine uh, in most cases doesn't have a lot of solutions and options for you. Now, we found over the last 18 years, we've probably taken care of 100 MS cases, and of course with varying results, um, we have found that the upper cervical spine has a, an influence over the central nervous system and can help, uh, if it's correct, it can help these people's bodies function better and give us best chance uh, to, to heal, mend, and repair. Now, if I were suffering with multiple sclerosis, I would take a very multifactorial approach because if you do the research out there in the natural healing area, you will find people that have modified their diet, and not all of them have done it in the same way, have found um, healing through that modality. You will find people have found healing through something called Cleaner Protocol, which is high-dose IV vitamin drips, You'll find other people that cut out gluten and improved, and you will also find a lot of people who have undertaken upper cervical chiropractic care, and by specifically correcting the upper neck and getting their nervous system to function better have found a relief. Now, there's a very interesting study that you can Google out of Italy. Uh, Dr. Ray Drury, a colleague of mine in Charlotte, North Carolina, and it's too long of a story to talk about, but through his efforts, um, two medical researchers in uh, Italy uh, did research on multiple sclerosis, x-ray analysis of the upper cervical spine, and some of the outcomes that they were seeing in the clinics over there. And basically what they said and the conclusion that they came from the research was that about a third of multiple sclerosis cases are caused, these are medical doctors, are caused by a C1 or C2 misalignment that's impinging the spinal cord and causing the body not to work the way it's supposed to. Um, just in the last um, couple of years, we've had several recovery stories. One of them was primary progressive. And then again, I also think sometimes people are diagnosed as having multiple sclerosis and they just have symptoms that are mimicking it and they get that label. We've had plenty of cases where they've come in with numbness in the arm and leg and weakness in the leg uh, and some of the cognitive problems and sensitivity to heat and they get corrected and within... 10 weeks are out of it. Those most likely were cases that were labeled with multiple sclerosis, but it wasn't really the real deal. Um, if you truly have multiple sclerosis, even in the cases that we've seen that have done much, much better in our office, it is not a one or two or three or four week process. While they can get relief in a couple of weeks from some of the things that they're dealing with, it's a long process of staying clear in the upper cervical spine and doing some of the other things I talked about earlier that support the body's healing system that can indeed help you, um, if not recover, improve the quality of your life. So if you're dealing with multiple sclerosis and you want to come into our office, we do offer a free consultation. Uh, we will take the time to go over your history, answer any questions you may have, run you through a battery of tests uh, that determine whether you have one of these upper neck vertebrae misaligned and impacting your, your nervous system and causing you not to work as well as you should. Uh, and then once we run all those tests, we can let you know what we found, what we think, and whether we can help you or not. And then with that information, you can make an informed decision of whether you want to start care or not. Uh, we do have two offices. One's in Carson. Uh, that's in the South Bay near Torrance. And that phone number is 310 324 6172 and then we have a uh, office in Los Angeles and that phone number is 213-399-7772. Uh, if you're outside the Los Angeles area and you've gotten a hold of this video and you're wanting to find someone in your locale, you can call any of the numbers that I just gave you and uh, we'll be happy to find someone in your uh, location that can help. Hope uh, this video was informative, and for those of you who are in the L.A. area that are, are suffering, we hope to see you soon.